Hello everybody, this is Elisha Keating from WisdomSeekers.net. This is my logo, Phoenix Rampant, Phoenix Rising. And this is for October 6, 2023. And let's see what do we have today. It's a little bit different from uh, the last few days. Not a great deal. The first card that came up was the High Priestess. And the High Priestess, she sees things that other people don't see. That's an important part of, in my estimation, that's an important part of the High Priestess. She can see into the, into the abilities of other people to adjust to or assimilate a new information. So when she when she sees you cannot assimilate, she doesn't talk to you at a level of a high vibration. She'll talk to you at the level you're capable of comprehending. Which doesn't mean she's not helping you because you you actually you, wisdom our spirituality is contagious. So even when she doesn't talk to you about things that are highly highly spiritual but you spend time with her you're catching a, a level of contagion of spirituality so she may not talk to you she may not try to talk to you at a level that you wish she would but by being around that person you are still learning something new you're starting to vibrate at a different level and the six is the energy of the flash card of the of the goddess or the star. So it is a very feminine energy today. And uh, thing thing that's really cool about uh, goddesses, most goddesses, is that they are fertility gods, and that means they like the c people to be in union. It, they will want you to to love each other and and I'm not talking about using each other I'm just talking about actual love where you you give and you receive back and forth because you cannot just simply take or you cannot simply just give it's not that's not love that's that's I'm not good enough or I'm I'm too I'm too good. There's not it's not a balance. We want a balance where we give to the other and you receive from the other and that helps you grow into a bigger, better version of yourself. And when I say that, it means you take away your ego and uh, you can't get rid of your ego. You're not meant to get rid of your ego. The ego is part of you. It's and you need it to survive but you allow the ego to be less important than your heart energy and when you can allow your heart energy to uh, to expand and that's what we need the more we expand our heart energy the more open we are to events and then the more we can grow and as we grow the people around us grow because of contagion and uh, one of these days we'll turn around and we'll look and we'll see we live in a truly spiritual world. Will that happen overnight? Probably not. Probably not even in my lifetime. But it's coming. The potential is coming. The way, th the, way the world is moving right now, it's causing more and more people to be red-pilled or wake up. And uh, when you wake up, do you go to your logic or do you go to your heart? And uh, the more we work on things, the more we, uh, more we allow ourselves to be authentic, the more we move to our heart because our heart is authentic. Logic will get us into trouble unless it's dictated from the heart. And the next card is... Uh, I'm not sure. I think I'll use this as the next card. It's the death card. And I got that yesterday too, I believe. And the death is letting go of 
old belief systems, even with their dearly held cyst ideas, they are you're looking at them and you know they don't actually fit with the reality, this truly evolved spiritual reality. It, it, a lot of what we have dealt with for thousands of years has been imposed by societal societal views. They're not actually good for you. They they are separating and dividing rather than being inclusive. And we want to move into a period of our life where we are inclusive. And saying that to spiritual people who are just woken up and dealing with a lot of people who are rejecting them, tell, telling them that they're they're really dumb and uh, they don't want to be friends with you anymore. That's very difficult because you see just the opposite happening. Open up more. That's my, my advice. Open up more. Be self-responsible. When other people tell you something and it doesn't ring true, you have to say, yes, I hear you. This, and you don't have to argue with them, but you have to stand in your own morality, your own, own potential to, uh, to let things unravel the way the universe is asking you to. Eventually, more and more people will be red-pilled, will wake up, and uh, you will find that you are the majority rather than the minority. And your way of thinking, of being authentic and caring and loving, even though you don't have to, how do I say this? You don't have to like somebody who is, n who is not woken up. But you do have to love them. And why? Because love is the building blocks of the universe. Does that mean you have to go to them and give them half your half your things no it just simply says you love them allow them to be who they are and if it's not good for you then you leave you have that right you are the one that is responsible you are the one responsible for yourself and sometimes that is we walk away we do it with love in our hearts but we walk away we can be angry at somebody, but doesn't preclude the ability to love. So, what will what will that do? Well, don't allow yourself to become rigid for one thing. That is that is a secret. And I know that we are in a huge shifting point. And yes, it's been a huge shifting point for probably. 50, 60 years, and it's getting more intense. And that's probably got another 50 years to go before we're on the other side. But we are still in a huge shifting point. And we, we're, mac we're thinking macro instead of micro levels, right? So a macro level is a couple of hundred years transition point. We're human. We want to do it now in, in a brief flash of energy. If we do it in a brief fla flash of energy, which it has been done in the past, our world comes to an end. So we're doing it in slow doses, little bit by little bit. And at the same time, that little bit is far more than we want to do. We're, we're very confusing people as, as humans. But allow yourself to be open and, and uh, move with this societal against the societal norms. You swim against the, the, uh, the river then rather than with it when it comes to society, but with the river when it comes to believing in the, um, the, in the universal energy. And we're coming to the end of my time, so I have to go now. But Pay attention to yourself, love yourself, and love others, even when you don't like them. Namaste, namasco, and I love you, and you I do love.